products that I put two and two together and I, I realized that, okay, something's not right here. Just a couple doors down from this scene is a neighbor in disbelief. You could see the, the fear in his like face and his expression and, the, and more importantly in his voice. So it was really scary. She's describing her encounter with the man involved in Sunday's crash, who she saw just outside her window, trying to hide in a shed in her backyard before he hopped her fence and ran away. Just scream like I'm trying to go home, but that still felt suspicious because I know my neighbors and I don't identify him as one of them. So automatically that's when I called 911. She didn't want to be shown on camera due to safety reasons, but wanted to share this message to those impacted. I really do hope that the family can get some justice. I think it's really unfortunate the news that they're about to receive. So I really do hope that there's some level of remorse for him and that he may turn himself in. Reporting for King 5 News, I'm Brady Wakayama.